Hey guys, it's Jason from Gardening with Jason. I'm bringing you a video here today. Um, hopefully before the storms start hitting, we're supposed to get, we've got potential for some severe storms this evening. Um, but I wanted to uh, bring you the second part of my winter sowing update. Um, and I might also, if I've got time, I'm gonna take you through the backyard garden here and show you some interesting things that are blooming and are now up out of the ground. So. Um, I'm going to take you over here and show you my uh, winter sowing um, part two. Um, so these winter sowing containers right here, I would probably have to say these are my uh, um, so-called failures and um, the ones that were a lot slower to grow. Um, the last, the, the other winter sowing containers from the last update I've already got in the ground and planted. And these are all the other ones, um, with the exception of two others that I had already planted before I showed them to you. So, um, but they were bleeding hearts, heliopsis and burning hearts, heliopsis. I already got those two in the ground, but they, they were successful and they did great. Um, they germinated as well with, um, maybe 12 plants in each container. So I was very happy with those. Um, I'm happy with most of these. I'm happy with how my winter sowing turned out this year. Um, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six jugs that have not germinated at all. Um, and I'll go through and show you what those ones were. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, I'll show you some of these containers and what they consist of and um, hope you see something you might want to start one day with your winter sowing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our complete failures so far. I'm going to leave them shut um, throughout most of the spring just to see if anything starts sprouting, but um, I'm really highly doubting it at this point. So the first one, the first failure was Delphinium Pacific Giants. I didn't get a single seed to germinate in that one. Same thing with Monarda Bergamo. I got that seed from Baker Creek. I did not get a single one to germinate in that one. However, I was successful with um, indoor sowing on that one. Um, I was able to get um, probably six different cells to germinate on that one. Um, next one, I was surprised about this one because I I was I was successful on nasturtiums with winter sowing last season, but this season I didn't have any success at all with nasturtiums. Um, the dwarf jewel, both of these are old seed too. I mean they're a couple years old. But I didn't have any success at all with Dwarf Jewel. And I didn't have any success at all with Orchid Cream. And the other one that I was kind of surprised I didn't have success on with um, was... Uh, I've been having a hard time with this one. This one's Miss Jekyll, Love in a Mist. Um, I've just been having a hard time with Love in a Mist as, uh, as it is anyway. So, um, yeah, I haven't, haven't been able to get one fully mature plant of Love in a Mist in the past, uh, two or three years that I've been trying to sow it. So let's get rid of these. Um, another one I didn't have success on, which I didn't think I would. Um, I tried to winter sow some Japanese maple seeds that I got from my, uh, parents' house down in Florida. And I didn't have any success at all with those either. Okay, so let's get 
get to these successes here. They're, uh, they weren't as uh, successful as my last batch, but they're, they're coming along. I've just got to give them some extra time. I think they're, um, they're probably just slower growing perennials and they're setting more, um, setting their roots more slowly than, or setting on their roots more than putting on top growth. So, um, the first batch here, this is a batch of smoke bush seedlings that I'd planted from seed. Um, so I got a mix of some green and some purple as well. These were from some uh, seed that I collected from a smoke bush tree um, from a neighbor's yard. Who allowed me to come and dig up some starts that she had as well as um, take some seed. This next one is a Dodecathian, Meadia Goliath. It's a type of shooting star. And I believe I showed you this one on the last one. This is my Pensamon that I self-collected that. The uh, Thelictrum that I started from seed has done pretty well. This one is Scabiosa Fama White. It is a perennial Scabiosa. Um, I got that seed from Baker Creek. Got this seed from Baker Creek as well. It's the Mellow Yellow Coneflower. And this one is the Cheyenne Spirit Coneflower, which I'm, I'm glad that these did pretty good winter, winter sowing, because like I said, I lost all my starts inside the house that I sowed indoors from my Echinacea, except for just a few. This is the Paradiso Super Duper Echinacea. You got some Verbena Benariensis. This one is a Tennessee Coneflower, Rocky Top variety. This is the Star Frost Globe Thistle. Um, the lady's mantle is still very, very tiny, um, but you can still, you can see a few of them in there. Got a lot of dandelion seed in there as well, so I need to try to clean that out without messing with these seedlings. These are a little on the drier side today, but we're supposed to get a boatload of rain today and some storms, so I'm holding off on watering them because of that. True lavender. Now this one's a first for me. I wasn't able to get any of these to successfully start inside. And last year I wasn't successful at all with winter sowing or inside with these, um, with this plant. But um, this is Rattlesnake Master. It did very well this year with winter sowing. And this one's scab another Scabiosa, it's Fama Blue. It's another perennial Scabiosa. From Baker Creek Seeds as well. This is a Starship Rose Lobelia. I either got that one from Jolito or uh, Select Seeds. I got three of my Starships from uh, Jolito and then I got another one from Select Seeds so I don't remember which one I got from there but this is the Starship Blue Lobelia. Some Mountain Mint. See what kind of pollinators I can bring in. Um, I've heard that Mountain Mint is a big time pollinator attractor. It will bring in some really neat looking um, wasps and bees. This is a Lobelia Starship Scarlet Scarlet Leaf Bronze. 
Scarlet Bronze Leaf. And they're very tiny as well, right now still. And I've got Echinacea White Swan. That one always does, always does well for me with winter sowing. I've got another Thalictrum here. Looks like some of them are dying out, so I don't know. I mean, the bottom of this feels moist, even though the top is a little dry. This batch doesn't, didn't do as well as the other batch I had. I've got some regular old Joe Pie weed here. Some compass plant. Looks like a bunch of weed seed is starting to germinate as well. But I only got one, one compass plant to take. This is a Columbine Leprechaun Gold. I really need to baby this one because this is the only one I got to take, um, whether it was winter sowing or starting indoors. Um, so winter sowing was the only successful method that I've um, that I had with this one, but uh, and it only produced one one little plant. So I need to protect that one at all costs. This one is New England Aster. It did very well indoors and with winter sowing. This is a milkmaid swamp milkweed. It did better winter sowing than it did in indoors. Only got one of them um, with indoor sowing. Gaiardia, double sunset. It germinated very well with uh, winter sowing and indoor seed starting. Echinacea, Allen's Pride. That one was from Baker Creek as well. It's another Echinacea, Paradiso Dwarf. And this last one had some trouble germinating as well. It looks like I only got two plants with winter sowing and I only got one plant to take with indoor seed starting. Um, this was Agastache Apache Sunset. Okay, so that does it with um, winter sowing for the season. Now that I've made this video, I can get these planted out. And like I said, when I plant these out, I usually do like a hunk of seedlings method. I don't try to separate each one. I just kind of separate the dirt pile as, um, in the direction that it wants to separate and plant them out in about three or four sections. Okay. So I've been working outside, potting up some of my seedlings that I've grown. Um, that's my tray of salvia. I've got about five or six different types of that in there as well. Um, so I've been working on that outside. I tell you what, potting up your seedlings outside is a lot better than potting them up inside. You don't have to worry about um, the mess as much. Um, Here's some more seedlings that I potted up and then I've got a bunch out front as well um, that I plan to use during our community garage sale. I got the uh, Vermillionaire Kufias planted all out in their pots. Um, but I wanted to take you over here to my uh, Lemon Candy Nine Bark and show you this thing um, showing off. It's showing off in bloom right now. With its beautiful little white clusters of blooms. That is such a beautiful shrub. One of my favorites in the garden. That's for sure, especially for early spring 
that early spring pop of yellow color and then the still still fairly early spring right now with the uh with the white clusters of blooms another millionaire kufia and a couple others there Okay, next thing I wanted to kind of show off was this uh, flamethrower red bud with its multiple colored leaves there. It is definitely a beauty. Okay. And my uh, kindred spirit oak has leafed out as well. This one I just purchased recently from Sark Brothers. And then I recently acquired a uh, Brilliantissima chokeberry shrub as well, hoping to provide some uh, berries for the birds. And then my blackberry bushes. I got a couple over on the other side of the yard, but I didn't go back there. But uh, they're all flowering right now, currently. <coughs> Hopefully, that means I will have plenty of blackberries this spring. I need to take you over here to these irises that are currently in bloom before they start fading out. They are looking wonderful. These were given to me by somebody off of one of the local Facebook groups. Um, she advertised them as peach colored irises, but there happened to be a really dark purple iris as well thrown in. And then I made one more recent purchase from a local garden center. This one I've been wanting for a while. It's a Korean Spice by Burnham. The uh, variety of it is called uh, Spice Island. Um, the flowers are supposed to be some of the most fragrant um, that there are for springtime when they do bloom. Now I was going to take you over to this. I've been working on uh, weeding this flower bed area here. Um, so I finally got most of it weeding, weeded on this section from this uh, gas meter over this way. I still have to come in and weed all of this. It's got a lot of weeding to do. Um, but I moved, moved some plants to make it kind of fuller in this area so it would um, hopefully grow in and plants would start touching each other and hopefully become a weed suppressant. I got several varieties of hostas in there. That's an Aphrodite sweet shrub. It'll get huge. Hopefully it'll kind of take up this whole area and create a little bit more shade for these shade plants. Um, the uh, Wild Columbine is in bloom, looking wonderful. The Praying Hands Hosta is looking beautiful. And the Service Berry 
And then one more interesting plant I was wanting to show you. It's a ground cover type plant. It's kind of aggressive, but I like it. I think it's interesting and neat. Um, it is called a green dragon. Sorry about that. My thumb hit the power button, but uh, this is the green dragon. It's got a really neat leaf structure and then it has this it's almost like a, a head and a tongue sticking out from it and that's why it gets its green dragon name I don't know if it'll focus if I get closer but it's not now I have a little baby one it looks like coming up right here so i wanted to show that one to you that was kind of interesting uh, pretty neat ground cover type plant for the shade area but uh yeah that's that's all i have so far for the updates of the uh backyard garden and my uh winter sowing um my winter sewing part two so thank you for watching and i hope you see something you like and might want to add to your garden today i'll see you next time bye